wanted to push the limits of my distance handling with Willie on this uh, Happy Hurdle Day course. Our first problem was um, getting Willie to realize he was supposed to turn right at the second jump. We worked on that for a while, but it never really became a tight wrap. It was always wide and loopy. This wasn't a problem that we had too much, but I did discover it wasn't enough to just give him a back of the jump command. I had to say out um, as he came out of the weave poles so that he carried around to the back. This section went nicely every time we did it. Um, this is the biggest problem section. Uh, I soon discovered that there is no way I can get Willie to understand where to go if I stay, or if I try and keep him on my left side. So we started over again. Once again, a wide turn at two. The rest of the turns, eh, they might add a stride here and there, but they aren't too terribly bad. And it was easy enough for me to do the front cross, which of course brings the correct jump to Willie. There he missed the turn to the weave, so we're just trying that section. And this was awkward. Having him jump into me was, uh, he got it, but it wasn't pretty. Then we just did this like I would normally handle it. Get a substantially tighter turn there. And this has the advantage of I can keep kind of moving, which increases Willie's speed through that section. Once again, the front cross. And this turned out to be my best option to get to the back side of that jump and direct Willie to the final jump. One last time with extreme distance. Whoops, he came the wrong way. So we just worked on the finish. But I was pretty happy with this. And these are the kind of skills that Willie and I are going to need to get through some of the Master Challenge courses in USDA. Here's a slow motion comparison. You can see, well, I guess the turn's not that much wider, but it is slower because Willie loses about a second from that second jump to the weave poles. This turns reasonably tight, but then I think Willie really kind of slows down a little because he begins to lose a little more ground to the top uh, video clip. And then the final place where I think we really kind of lose time is at the weaves. And actually, it would have been just as easy probably for me. Well, it would have been better for me to cut through as I did on top because Willie just totally misreads it this time and comes toward me.